Hi, so welcome to Bulgaria Together. We thought it'd be really good to show you the people or me behind the voice and to meet us both. So I'm Jo. I'm Pete. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the episodes that we've done so far. Yeah. So this is just a chat to sort of tell you about what we're doing, why we're doing it. Um, and I hope you find it interesting. So why are we doing it? So the reason we're doing the episodes of the YouTube channel is because um, a lot of people that I work with, friends and family, are asking all the time, how are you getting on, what are you doing, how's it going? So I um, thought it'd be great to be able to do different stages of how we're progressing in our adventure. Yeah. Um, and we also do watch other people on YouTube, we, we, we watch, um, I've got a list here actually, we watch Our Little Bulgarian Adventure, New Beginnings in Bulgaria, The Good Life Homestead, Nibble Touch, Our Derelict Dream Home, Alternative Living in Bulgaria and um, Off Grid with the Odins, or a few, the Udens. Udens. and Bournemouth to Bulgaria, oh yeah Bournemouth to Bulgaria, so we do watch them as well, because like you know it's really good to learn um about well, different yeah. things of what we're doing so why are you doing it because you told me to <laughs> that is quite <laughs> true <laughs> oh dear he does what he's told <laughs> sometimes <laughs> so um so we're doing it really to change our change lifestyle our lives. Yeah, in every way you can think of. Yeah. We grow our own food, produce our own electricity, uh, clean our own water, and have a, uh, a better lifestyle. Be as off grid as we as can. As we can, as we yeah. possibly can. Have a few small um, animals and yeah. like a small holding. We've got enough ground too, just under seven acres. Seven acres. Um, Which gives us plenty of scope. Um, and to really to just um, enjoy life and live life instead of life living us and passing us by we want to be able to actually sit back and look and enjoy it instead and get out of the rat race well stop and start living as you say that's what we need to do yeah don't we yeah we do we do so um so this is our adventure and we hope you're enjoying it um one thing i will say if we can give anybody any advice to start with is to do your research that's the research on everything facebook groups youtubes um yeah talk to people if you're going to buy a property investigate it once investigate twice and research again and talk to the right people get a good 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 translator because you need that with without one of them you're lost yeah, and um, through having a good translator, you also meet other Bulgarian yeah. tradespeople as well as English people in your area. Um, and it is really, really, really vital to get a good translator, well, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, to start with, because they can help you with your gas, sorry, your electric, your water your lichners or your residency cards or your D visas. Um, we well, gave information, as much information as you possibly you registered get. registering your house, you know, they and they are a mind of information, aren't they? Um, yeah, and you will find lots of problems in buying a house and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's very quick, we found, have we, in Bulgaria? It's, it's, it's a long process, but you can, there's loads of pitfalls, and if you don't get to meet the right people, you you just find it hard. Uh, meeting the right people is essential. Yeah, we found um, a handyman. He's great, isn't he? Uh, who's become a friend as well. Um, and we've met some other English people, haven't we? Um, well, they want to help. You know, everybody you, you meet wants to help you. So yeah, they um, do. We, there's that, no negatives on that part of it, but it is you know meeting people and they will help you. Talk to the right people. And learn the language. Um, it's hard. It's not easy language, but you know, just an hour a day 
um, we found, um, we was recommended actually from somebody off one of the Facebook um, groups. Uh, you talk is really good. Yeah, um, yeah, it's very good. Uh, where you can actually record yourself um, pronouncing the Bulgarian sentences of words. Um, yeah, it's an excellent, it's an excellent language tool. Excuse me. Um, so that's good, and also um, the Facebook groups are really, really worth all looking worth, at. All of them are worth joining. All the Facebook Bulgarian groups because. They recommend people, and if they if they're recommended, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, believe me, because it's quite hard out there to um, to find um, people that work the way that you expect them to. Like in builders that do a roof the English way and not the Bulgarian way. Um, and being that we are English, you do have standards, and you do expect things done certain ways. And obviously, when you're in a different country. They're not always done that way. So by getting advice from other people that have used people, well, also you find it's that, really good. Yeah, and also you find that the that that way you're less likely to meet bad builders than you'll meet ninety nine percent good builders because it's recommendations. That's the you know, on the building front. That's the only way to go. Yeah. So we what that's what we found. Yeah. And we we do plan on doing a lot of the renovations ourselves inside. The electrics and um, plumbing and decorating. I mean, if we need help, then we will get people oh, in yeah, to do yeah, it. Well, yeah. um, we're not afraid of that, but at the same time, we want to put our stamp on our house, don't we? Yeah, and yeah. Well, it's it's, uh, it's a it's a bit of a big project, as you can see, and uh, it needs lots of work. <laughs> but it's a lovely house, and <laughs> it's a lovely house. Although the the videos you've seen so far, the episodes you've seen so far, are a bit terrible and you've seen it at its worst um when it's done it's going to be beautiful isn't it and it's, 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 a it's going to be a home it's going yeah, to be our home it's just a house now but it will be a home yeah it will so we're looking forward to that um you've met our children um in the first episode i believe so um they've got mixed feelings or mm. one one wants to go and one doesn't so yeah. We've um, got a little bit of a handful there, but... Well, it's a long process, so it's not going to be... Um, you know, it's, it's going to take a while. One of them would love it to be there tomorrow, and the other one will take a couple of years before... They like it. <laughs> so They'll be fine. That's like anybody, I think. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> but... Um, everything is a long process, but... All of a sudden it starts coming together and um, we're at that stage where everything now is actually coming together um, and we're looking at maybe moving over in the spring um, because it's a bit cold February time, January, February, so we're going to... Once the snow has passed, the winter's on the way, then we can get stuff done in the house and then, yeah. and then begin to move stuff over, hopefully in one go. So. We have sold our house in um, yeah. the UK. We are waiting for contracts to sign, so yeah. um, that's a, a positive. We still will have somewhere to live until we move over, so that's another positive. Yeah. Um, and we've also managed to get a haulage company to be able to transport our um, all our belongings over. So uh, um, help us to all paperwork to get it through customs, cleared and done the right way and not pay too many too much taxes yeah so um, yeah that's, so that's, that's a big really positive, positive yeah. yeah um so yeah. so yeah things seem to come be coming together don't they we they seem to be getting on yeah. all right yeah yeah it's, it's getting there so so i don't think we really want to say too much more now do we we no. just want to so we just really want to say we hope you like it all um we did buy a drone and Indeed. I've done a little bit of drone some boring drone footage. <laughs> I'm going to show you some drone footage. Please bear with me because it was my second time of using it. Yeah. And the first time so I actually really left the ca the cover on the camera. Yeah. So um, so it, it's very short, but I just thought you might like to see an aerial view. Um, that and gives more detail as to what the house looks like. Yeah. So, um, so thank you for watching. Thank if you, you really like it. Ring the bell and get the notifications of our next episodes and yep. like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks very much.
Doesn't see that. So as you can see, um, partial roof which we plan to make into a decking area with veranda around it. Um, it's in a bit of a mess at the moment but we can soon clean that up, take the asbestos and tiles off um, and it's just concrete underneath and uh, hopefully try and make that into a good use. So there's nine chimneys, um, there's four chimneys and a five chimney stack. So it doesn't look too bad the roof but um, what I was trying to do was to get a view of the roof with the drone because we couldn't get up there to see it ourselves. And you can see the roof of our little house, which um, doesn't look too bad. You can also see how pretty that the, uh, the little house is uncovered. And you can see um, it was a very sunny day when I was taking the footage. Uh, I'm sure it does show you the view. What a beautiful area that we live in and how spectacular our view is. I apologise for um, going a bit fast while I'm trying to show a 360, 360 degree view and I know I'm going fast but like I said uh, it's a second attempt at drone footage. So here I'm trying to see the electric posts that will carry the electric to our house and I think here you can just see the two of them that go across the river and up towards the house opposite us. So as we go around the back of the house you can see a little inside of the first third floor and Peter is bricking up the window which is the window in the bathroom. We had two windows in the bathroom, we only needed one so we decided to block one up. The hole in the outside wall is where the previous electric meter was and as you can see at the rubbish pile from emptying the house. I then got a beep 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 from the um, from the drone to tell me it was running low on battery. So um, with that in mind I got the drone to fly back to where I was and land. 
hope you've enjoyed the drone footage. Like I said, a novice, but I'm sure they'll get better as we go along. So thanks very much for watching and again if you like, like and subscribe and get your notifications of when we release the next video. Thanks very much.